The champ is here. We will definitely not shut up and dribble. The champ is here. I must be the greatest. The champ is here. I'm going to continue to stand with the people. The champ is here. I will I not, not, not lose. lose. I'm a bad man. I took up the world. Yes, yes. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with we. My name is EJ, and I got my man. Hey, yeah, he's the lockdown DB of the show, hitting you with that press coverage. All right, man, we are Black in Sports, giving a voice to the culture where we will not shut up and dribble, all right? We're here interviewing the best professionals in the game and in the boardroom, covering it all, laughing at it all, while perform providing a platform to be heard, all right? So you know how we do about this time, and we want to welcome our guests here, all right? So check it out, check it out. Vallejo raised him, reporting the sports pays him. We want you to say it with your chest, all right? We want you to spit hot fire on the mic, okay? Now, if you ask your boy right here, top best dress sports anchors in Las Vegas oh, yeah. is Brian, 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 <laughs> Brian, and Brian. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Hey, so, hey, give it up. We want to, it's an honor to have you in the house, man. Thank you for coming by. We got the lead sports anchor, new sports anchor here in Las Vegas. Brian Salmon, give it up. Can't clap. Man. Oh, wow. EJ. Yo, what's wow, up, man? Oh, my God. Yo. First of all, man, I don't even know. I can't even top that. <laughs> You've been listening to Sway in the morning, huh? <laughs> hey, let's get it, man. So how we like to start the show, all right? All right. And people want right. to know. Okay. All right. all right. Give us a shoot your shot moment, all right? Oh, wow. Yeah. So when Dang. you went for it, shoot your shot moment. watching this. And not <laughs> 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 hey, but you know, that, no, that, was, that was before her. Yeah, so yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. all good. It's, it's all, all good. good. So all give us a shoot your shot moment. It can be, man. I shoot my shot every day. Give me an exclusive. Oh, wow. Oh man, uh, man, I wish I would have known that. Who did I shoot my shot with? You know what? I was trying to think of somebody that was a popular person, or somebody right. that you would actually know. Okay, shot your shot, man. I shot my shot. <laughs> it is in high school. Okay, going back. Oh wow, I still remember the girl's name Ooh, too. Flashback. But, yeah, yeah, but uh, I <laughs> shot my shot, man. I, I I was really feeling this chick. I liked her a lot, man. I I, <laughs> I think I wrote. Oh, this is all bad. Uh oh, this is all bad. Uh oh. Uh, you remember um, Silent Treatment by The Roots? I don't know what yeah. I got to do to make you understand. I'm yeah. for real and that's no question. <laughs> the front and no, no guesses. That's, an, that's yeah. my joint. That's okay. my joint. So, uh, yeah, I, I may or I may or may have not performed that for her. <laughs> Might have put them words down, but, you know, like, yeah, I'm trying to get at you, you know, blah, 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 blah. blah. I hit her with The Roots and uh, denied. <laughs> I, did, I got the Matumbo. <laughs> no, not today. <laughs> yeah, so. I mean, I was trying to date her type deal. It wasn't like yeah. he was, you know, we was cool or whatever. Okay. I mean, we went out on a date. and but Yeah, so I shot my shot, hey. and it was an air ball. <laughs> it happens. It happens. And I'm a shooter, too, man. Yeah, like, man. I don't shoot it air balls. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. Some, somebody got the rebound from that, so it's all good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She married and got kids. See, man, there it is. Somebody rebound. There yeah. it is. It's you know, it's, it's practice. Yeah. Practice, uh huh? <laughs> but let me—I didn't hit many a half-court shot. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, some buzzer beaters. Yo, when, when got, the club closing. I got buzzer beaters, man. I didn't hit some home runs. You know what I mean? Singles, doubles, triples. I can go on with the sports analogies yeah, all, day, all day, every day. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> so, Brian, what uh, what started your love with sports? Man, I, I played sports, man. You know, I was a dude that. I'm a weekend warrior now. Like I, I, yep. I was hooping before the whole, you know, uh, self isolation went down. But yeah, I grew up playing sports. So okay. every sport. I mean, every oh, okay. sport. Baseball is my first love. Man, I love how EJ put it down. Man, Vallejo raised me. Man, like so. I was, you know, I, I was born in Oakland and grew up in Vallejo. I used to play at WVMI West Vallejo Mare Island. Man, that was the little league that we played in. Okay. And if you don't know, now you know Vallejo got athletes, mm -hmm. right? In baseball, CC Sabathia came out of there. We didn't have cats that, yeah. you know, that really had done things okay. in Vallejo, man. So baseball is my first love. I was real good at that. I played quarterback, football. Okay. I played soccer. Um, I was scoring a gang of goals. I mean, this is before. I mean, I was just, I was more advanced in kids when I was younger. Okay. You, you know what I mean? I was just real super coordinated and whatnot. Um, so I, I played tennis. I taught myself how to play tennis. I played tennis in high school, but I taught myself when I was a kid how to play tennis. Okay. Hey, so, I mean, the, so it was, a, it was a kind of like the family business? The family do that too? No, nah, I mean, just... my, my pops played softball. My pops was an athlete. You know, okay. He ran track and played football. He boxed and stuff like that like okay. in the Navy. Mm -hmm. But from there, you know, we used to do what we're doing right now. Like I used to talk about sports for free. Right. Okay. Yeah. My guy, Oscar, man, who's a... 
He's from Argentina. So my guy lives in Seattle. Uh, we used to argue about sports all day, every day growing up. And I figured, man, I might as well try to do that to get paid. I feel it. Oh, that early. No, I mean, in high school. Oh, got you. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But playing it. everything, though, huh? But, yeah, I mean, I grew up playing sports. I mean, I played, yeah. I played all through high school, college, you know. You, and you said baseball was your, your That was my one? first love, man. That was okay. my first love. But I, I morphed in the hoop when I got into high school. Okay. Yeah. Is, there, is there a reason why? Yeah, that's just, what I asked. What is, what is that? You, you know, the big reason why, for real, for real, is because I moved from California to Seattle. Yeah, okay. I moved from Vallejo to that. Seattle. That, so... Well, I mean, but that, I mean, still baseball, though, right? Like, not in, no, Seattle. Not in Seattle. I mean, I play Seattle baseball, guy. but I mean, it's raining all the time. Oh, yeah. so you're inside. Yeah. Seattle got hoopers. Wow. Ah, yeah. yeah. And I played with many of them hoopers. Like, I, the year okay. I came out was like the year that like, Donnie Marshall is a name you guys yeah. probably know. Yep. Um, man, the, the head coach, I just found out the dude, dude's a head coach at uh, BYU right now, Mark Pope. Okay. Uh -huh. oh, okay. Yeah. I played again. He, he, same year, came out yeah, of high same. school. He See? went to Kentucky. Played in the league for a bunch of years. Nice. There's a, a bunch of cats, man. That Doug Christie. I mean, I, I I came out with the first wave that was like real big in Seattle, like the yeah. older cats. Man. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And then so you went to so really quick. That was high school, right? Kind of yeah. going up through high school. Yeah. So where did you go to school first? College. College. Yeah. Yeah. Western Washington. Okay. So Western Washington. Yeah. What's oh Vikings, right? Little Western Washington yeah, Vikings. Look at you. How hey, you know that? You've been doing research. It's a thing called Google. Ah, <laughs> the Vikings, baby. Look at that. Look, 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 listen, this is sophisticated media um, outlet over I here. I see what we, you're we, doing. We do some work over I here. I see what right? you're doing. <laughs> but um, so it also said Florida State. So what was yeah. that all about? So basically to get training in, in television, uh, Western didn't have a, a broadcast program, right? Oh, okay. So basically what I did is I did, it's called, instead of international um, study abroad, I did national student exchange. Me and my homeboy. Um, Hold on, that sounds like a little ripoff, though, right? Like, yo, I'm gonna study down south. <laughs> uh, yeah, nah, I, I wish I went to Europe. Right, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Because we had a, our uh, past guest just studied abroad. Right, yeah, she was yeah. in Germany, so okay. I was like, I'm gonna study locally. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Tallahassee, right, man. But then you know again, what? Going though, from Tallahassee to no, from Washington to to woo, yeah, it you, might as well be another country. Absolutely. <laughs> Exactly. Absolutely. Exactly. So you down there doing this program, okay? Yeah, I mean, and that's where that's where I did my very first. This is like my senior year, so this is where I did my very first uh like broadcast. Basically, what they had oh, dang. The, the TV oh. they had a um they had a TV station on Sunshine Network, which broadcasts all over the state of Florida. Mm -hmm. You know, a TV station at Florida State, and basically, what they had an audition. You had to write like a fifteen second clip or stand up and perform it in front of a camera, and they chose from that who got to. Be be live. This, yeah. be, who, who got to be in this program oh wow, wow. yeah okay i mean that's pressure oh, like, that's huge yeah so I, I did mine i got chosen you know it's like uh -oh, 30 get, kids or whatever chosen hey. i got chosen you know <laughs> I shot my shot boy i hit that hey, shot, hey, hey. I hit that shot. <laughs> uh, right. so I, I made that i did a story mike martin who's the head coach of baseball mm -hmm. um i think he just retired this past year florida state mm -hmm. for like 30 years something like that okay my first story I ever did was on the uh, Florida State baseball team. Nice. I got a chance to, the first time I ever shot a camera was uh, Florida State versus Wake Forest, Tim Duncan. Oh, wow. Wow. Yep. So, so tell me then, like, I mean, was the love that early? Like, from talking with your, your fam in uh, Seattle? And yeah. then you knew when you went to school, like, yo, this is it. I mean, it was my senior year. So, I mean, I better or know. was something. it like, I just need to figure something the hell out? No, nah, I mean, that's, I was like, man, that's what I want to do. Okay. Um. But I was older too, man, because like I got right out of high school. I went to a junior college for two years. I got my AA, and then I was gonna go to school at uh, Clark Atlanta University. Oh, boy. Sent my money, everything, but they wasn't trying to give me no bread, and it just didn't work out. So, bread for sports? Were you going for like a scholarship, like an athletic scholarship or anything? No, no, no. At that okay. point, because I, I kind of going back, I was walking on um, to Western Washington. I tore my Achilles, Damn. so that ended my whole. He's walking on who? Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. And I tore my Achilles, so Ooh. that that ended my whole basketball, like as far as like schooling or whatever. I right. just hooped the intramurals and stuff like, after I recovered and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, man. So uh, I took two years off of school, so I had I was just working. Okay. But I yeah. always knew I was going to school, but I was just working. So um, I ended up going. That's why I went up. Ended up going to Western. So I was older by the time I I was at West. Uh, I was at Florida State. I was like twenty three years old you. you know what i mean but people don't understand man like when you lose that dream of playing a sport like right. it takes it some takes people don't recover like oh yeah i got yeah. a homeboy that uh ruptured his spleen his senior year 
And uh, he, he locked up right now, man, because I mean, it's, yeah. it's really hard to recover when you put that much energy, you know, into sports and, yeah. and, and being good. And this is a dream. It may not be the only dream. All but right. yeah, so no facts for you to go home and kind of figure out like, yo, let me get some work and, you know, make sure I'm ready to do this. So no shots to you. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah. Nah. So I did all that, man. And I pursued that dream. I, so when I went, I was at Florida State for a year. OK, so I, uh, I got all my my um, broadcast all that good stuff. I had to go back to Western Washington to graduate. That's how the exchange ah, okay, worked, okay. right? So you, you spend a year at Florida State. I paid my tuition to Western Washington, but I'm taking classes at Florida Damn. State. So did that, went back to Western. I only had one quarter left to graduate. Then my quarter graduated in December. Um, I did an internship up there. I mean, I, I was standing outside when the sports guy walked into the station in Bellingham, Washington, a little tiny, little nothing station. I, was, right. I, I just went up to the station. They ain't never had a sports intern. I just wanted to, you know, I want to meet the dude who does sports. Yeah. He was riding a bike, walked in. He was like, hey, how you doing? I was like, hey, man, I just came back here from Florida State. I'm about to, you know, I'd like to, you know, be on TV, blah, 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 blah. I said, cool. Come back. That worked out. I did, like, stuff on the air mm -hmm. as an intern. Like, they let me do stories. Like, I had covered the football team up at Western Washington when I was an intern. Okay. Little man. minute 45 stories. Yeah. But all of that is part of getting that the you know, grind the yeah. grind and yeah. getting, that, getting that exposure yeah i mean yeah. it's a long story I, I mean i yeah to make a long story long so yeah that's what i did <laughs> were you always like a like a natural in front of the camera or just took some yeah. time or i'm like y'all man i mean i can just you can talk to anybody right that's true yeah you know what i mean so i mean that's how it was like i i i was never ever like the nervous type dude or you know you kind of naturally like to perform okay i used mm -hmm. to want to be a rapper you know that <laughs> yeah we know when you shot your shot you was you was rapping then right <laughs> <laughs> I actually wrote it down, man. Oh, it, was, boy, it was like a letter. Is. Check me if you like me. I don't think I had to check, but might as well. You know what I mean? <laughs> but the question is, did she hit you with the maybe, right? Huh. She's like, like, oh, the, box. The, own the, own box, box. the own box. Like, that wasn't like, an option. Oh, Brian, you're so day. nice. Yeah. I didn't know that you wanted to. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> what, was, uh, what was your first job? Your, your break, kind of. What was the? Man, my first break. And I've had a bunch of them. Yeah. Man, like, real talk. Just seem to like work hard work, man. But you know, opportunity hard work presents itself with all that good stuff. Um, first job out of uh college, I moved to Atlanta. So when oh, I graduated, boy. I moved to Atlanta. My older brother, Vance, was living down there with his wife. Okay. He, you know, he he was living down there, whatever, older, whatnot. Moved in with him. He knew someone, a family friend that worked at CNN. Oh wow. So I gave him my resume to give to her. Yep. And her friend was hiring at CNN Sports Illustrated. I don't know if you ever even remember seeing this sports illustrator back in the day. Yeah, I so no, dude, that's good. Okay, well, CNN used to do uh, new. They used to do sports like yeah. a broadcast. They yes. it, okay. it used to compete with Peak. ESPN, yep. like eleven o'clock and mm -hmm. one o'clock in the morning out mm -hmm. west. So uh, Fred Hickman, Vince Chalina, these are dudes. Nick Charles, these guys. I used to I used to watch them on the air when I was in high school. Mm -hmm. So uh, I got that job, man, part time. I was working there, and the first job I got when I was in Atlanta was a bank teller at SunTrust Bank. So I worked. Eight to five at SunTrust Bank, and then part time at CNN SI at night from like six to two a.m. like two or three days a week. Wow, the hustle, the hustle. Man, I had my mom. Yeah, my mom made fun of me back in the day. Like she was like, "Are you Jamaican?" <laughs> yeah, I had, I had a tree million jobs. jobs. Had, tree, <laughs> tree job, tree job. <laughs> you lazy mind. I mean, I bumble clot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Nice. Yeah. So, um. So that's it's starting to come together because you also played in the celebrity uh, baseball game, the softball thing that they had. Oh out yeah. Here. So were you like reliving it? Was just like just amazing to be a part of that? Man, I loved it. Man, think you remember that? Man, it was ten thousand people inside of Las Vegas. Uh, that, that was crazy. Mm -hmm. Man, it was, I mean the atmosphere. Was, and I just interviewed Eric Holler, who used to play for the Golden Knights, who's mm -hmm. at uh he's with the Florida Panthers, Panthers. now. Yep. And uh, he talked about he's like, man, the atmosphere was sick. Mm -hmm. Like it was just. Everyone that was there, it was bananas. It was Marcus Allen was there. It was bananas. Yep. No, they did a great job. You yeah. know, so you know what we're talking about is the uh, what's the Knights versus the yeah. the um the Raiders. Raiders. It's called Battle for Vegas. Battle for Vegas. Yeah. And uh, Riley Smith versus uh, Team Marcus Allen. Yeah. Because it couldn't be the Golden, Golden Knights. Knights Raiders, right. Blah, blah, blah. Those, but, yeah. but no, that was dope stuff, man. Yeah. So I definitely relived it. <laughs> <laughs> so what about your? Uh, I, I guess I kind of I, I know some sports reporters that had started. And just didn't quite make it. Oh, I know a lot of them too. And, and we all, well, I think we all know a lot of them. Right. So, I know a lot I guess, of them too. What's your, in your makeup 
that kind of kept you to your dream and your goals and your drive to to get to your goal. And I, I got to What am I? I got to do it. I yeah. got to and I got to get to where I'm going. Right. right. You know what I mean? Like destination set. I'm going there. Yeah, that's where I got to go, man. I got to do this. Mm-hmm. And you I mean you grow up playing sports. Obviously, I see you didn't hit you didn't hit a few weights in your life. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah I hear you say <laughs> you the DB. <laughs> you the DB of the crew. You know yeah, what I mean? I mean? Yeah, I got you. Yeah, so, I, I mean, did a little something. <laughs> you know, work ethic. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Sure. Yeah, man. So, like, hey, I got to do this. And I'm by any means necessary, you know, it's all about my job, my profession. I'm trying to succeed, man. I don't I don't know nothing but mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. trying to succeed. That's so all I know. I, I, I seen you got New Orleans, Boston, Missoula, Montana. Just yeah. Oregon, what, yeah, New or, Orleans. Yeah, what, what was kind of your, I guess, maybe your favorite stop or? Favorite stop? Really, Vegas. Okay. But um, Vegas and New Orleans. Cause yeah. you had to do Vegas twice. There yeah. it is. I came back, man. Yeah, I, I came back. Yeah, I never wanted to leave, man. I used to work at Channel Thirteen, mm-hmm. and uh, they cut sports. Oh, so you know, all right, then peace. Go. You gotta, you gotta go. go. So I was yeah. like, oh dang, I need a job. <laughs> <laughs> and there was only what five of my jobs here in Las Vegas, right? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. it's not like they're gonna fire somebody to give me a job. So mm-hmm. I, that's when I went to Oregon. Okay. So I went there for like a year and a half, and then okay. I I went to New Orleans. Okay. Ooh, and then then I then I started ha- had a family uh, from New Orleans, and then came. you know life changed. So you came came to Vegas. You left Vegas, didn't have a family then. When you came back to Vegas, what a family? A whole new Brian, yeah, new family, everything. for real. <laughs> <laughs> for you met my wife, man. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, man. So and you seen the kids on on social yeah, media. So sure. yeah, yeah. No, I came back a new new. <laughs> old old school Brian old. was shooting. <laughs> I was a, I was hooping. <laughs> literally and uh-huh, i was hooping <laughs> and triple threat <laughs> i was a triple threat uh so hey let's talk about kind of just in your career you know we're going to definitely get to you know the platform and, and talk about that but just uh in your career man you are at some very very cool spots right oh yeah and one of the spots that i want to sh- and there's you got a lot of them right just it comes with the nature of the job yeah yeah one that was just amazing that I just kind of ran across was you were on the baseline in summer league where Zion was warming up and he did that boom. Oh, yeah. And we was in the building. Yeah. And it and it roared from us up in the stands. Crazy. How was it like on the sidelines? Oh, and, was- and what's some of your best moments that you like highlight if you could highlight some of those? That's cool. See, man, one, I I love I love the research. Both of y'all, man, because y'all y'all know what you're talking about. You didn't did some research. And I know you didn't seen that play because uh I, I shot that on my my phone, mm-hmm. so I got like a lot of different moments. But yeah, that was that was crazy, man. That shit was amazing. And think about this. Remember, I used to work in New Orleans, right? So yeah, oh, um, that's right. Yeah. So when he came here, you know, I, I still you pull for teams that you cover. Uh-huh. I was there when they became the Pelicans. I was there when Anthony Davis got drafted. Yeah. So you know, I'm like, okay, man, I, I still wish for them to do well. Um, that was bananas, man. That was and then that play where he, he stole the ball oh, from him and dunked. Yeah. He didn't steal, man. He took that ball like. <laughs> My ball pump. <laughs> huh. we, we are talking about the Knicks on the other team he stole it from. You know, that's my that's my team, Brian. I won't say Knicks. anything. Yeah, yeah, he's a Knicks fan. A Knicks ah, fan. So Mitchell Robinson. Yeah. Mitchell Robinson, man. One of my boys who oh, I'm from New Orleans, too. Yeah. Exactly. There yeah. you go. His head trainer, Marcel, man. Okay. My, was my dude. I used to hoop in a um a city league with him. He he owned a gym down there. Mm-hmm. He uh and he put on like different like city league or whatever. I played right. on his team. But okay. he trains Mitchell Robinson. Yeah. Yeah, he's doing yeah, a good job. Yeah. With, he's doing a good job with Mitch. He's yeah. He what? Un, Mitch, yeah, he's, is, Mitch is going to be an, an all star soon, a little later. You know what? I, he's got the potential. Uh, <laughs> he got a, the potential. That's that's a, I'm sorry. I, I was all-star. trying to hold it in. I couldn't hold it in. All star. <laughs> no, but I mean, like, he's he he going to get a fat contract. Oh, yeah. He's doing his thing for sure. So yeah, that ain't in, no in, in the right market too. They're going to boost in the right up. market. Yeah. Nobody wants to play for the Knicks anymore. Oh, after. Chill out. Well, well, I, we'll these, these are not my words. <laughs> this is coming from All Star Kevin Durant. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's just, just Kevin Durant. This, this, this wasn't awesome. from me. You yeah. know, I'm just this is that's I should have just a messenger over I'm here. I'm just a messenger, yeah. man. God sent me. Yeah, relax, so relax. relax on that one. <laughs> <laughs> he hit him with the Aaron Rodgers. So, um, <laughs> teams. Yeah. Are you Bay Area everything for your teams? Nah, I'm, initially or like of course because you're touching all these different markets and you like you get love you get connection for them but like i want to is the root still do you know what i mean all right so so my pops both my mom and my dad are both from philly oh okay all right okay. Mm-hmm. so uh my mom still live in philly born born and raised like both my parents so mm-hmm. um you like what team your pop like 
Yeah. So I, Sixers was like my number one. Then the team. rules, unless you want to sleep outside, right? Correct. Huh, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, you look up to your pop, man. That's my guy. So, uh, Sixers, Dr. J, that was my first, my first team. Um, I used to go to A's games as a kid. I used okay. to go to Warriors games as a kid. My nice. pops used to take me to those games. I never, I had never been to a um, football game until uh, I was in, until I graduated college. Okay. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, the Raiders, I grew up a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. My somehow. guy. Yeah. There you go. It's unfortunate. Man. Yeah. Oh, but, but I got, like you said, I got love for a bunch of teams. <laughs> what team? The Broncos. Oh, no, 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 no. Listen no, no. to his He's other team. Them. No, listen. Uh, that was my, my, don't my, say my... the Patriots. Oh, no. no We're going to end this thing. We're like, I got to go. <laughs> Drop the, the other America's team, though, the Cowboys. Oh, my gosh. That's just as bad. That's right underneath. They are not America's nah, team it's, anymore. It's not right? underneath anything. It's on the top, Ryan. You okay. know, they got the Cowboys on the, on the top. On the top of the losers. <laughs> I just wish I had my drop right now. <laughs> this, is, this is America, damn it. <laughs> oh, they are man. not America's team. And yeah. we can go on. We've talked about this before, but let's, Cowboys are not yeah, America's similar team to, anymore. My, my parents are both from that area, so it was... Okay, it's the family business. So I, I, I'm, I'm not mad at that. Yeah, and you, you, you're old enough that you actually have seen them win. Oh, for sure. <laughs> you know what? The it was funny. You didn't even know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Loki jab right there. No, I got the jab for sure. I got the jab. It's, we, it's still good. But uh, Loki, I was watching uh the Super Bowl against the Bills. Just, just oh, they just played it. They just, yeah, they just played on NFL Network. Man, the, one they, the first Super Bowl they won ninety two. That's back in like standard definition, huh? Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it wasn't no four G. Oh, they, they had tear off jerseys back then. <laughs> Yeah, it was funny. Look, and I was like, they, they, they got they were Apex, Russell jerseys. Russell jerseys. Or Apex. They got Apex, Apex jackets. jackets. <laughs> yeah. Michael Irvin was still wearing like baseball cleats. I was like, oh, <laughs> this is a little different now. Uh, but the, it was good. The sleeves was big. Was big, yeah. Thurman Thomas had this bar in the middle of his face, ah, that face mask. <laughs> And they was so, taping everything for yeah, no reason. Yeah. Just tape was around everything. <laughs> oh, every finger, every finger. Got the neck, got the neck brace, the neck thing. The like Eric Dickerson bowl. I saw, or the point of the Eric Dickerson with the pointy one. Oh, yeah, those were yeah. too. Tally, uh, I can't, I can't think of his first name. I think his name is Darren, Darren Tally. Darren Tally, yeah. Play linebacker for the Bills. With the nose. Yeah. Oh, yes. He had, had that EJ hair. <laughs> Yeah, he was EJ complexion too. Yeah, had that pretty hair. Yeah, so he had so he had, he had like Oakley sunglasses on. I'm just trying under to live to my helmet. light skin potential, man. That's oh, all. Man. Here we go. Yeah, I, here we go. See, yeah. I, when the light skin talk, they talking a whole different octave. I know. <laughs> he, he got all smooth. Picked so, up, yeah. picked up the, the wine. Yeah, his pinky, his pinky, <laughs> pinky is out for no reason. His posture didn't change all up, man. So, Brian, <laughs> uh, exactly. This cat over here, he got on shades. He look oh, over there, all shit. of a sudden. <laughs> so, what was you going with, man? No, I, I, I messed up ahead. the whole flow. Man. No, no, I apologize. No, 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 no. Go ahead, go ahead. So, okay. <laughs> but the Oakley shades was crazy. I remember that. Yeah, when he's rocking that yeah. underneath yeah. his helmet. Yeah, back in the day. Back in the day, a long, long time ago. Yeah, they didn't really want a playoff game. Anyway, um, back to you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay. Why not? Why not? Okay. So, <laughs> in media, yeah. Do you have any media beef? Two ways, all right. Oh, wow. So he trying to give me all kinds of trouble. No, like, media, I, no go. Ahead, I'm messing with you. Media man. beef. I mean, I you know, know we've all on. seen Anchor Man. You know, do you got? Did you guys rumble in the parking lot That's with your funny. crew? <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. When y'all that all get funny. together, like <laughs> <laughs> you have a dance off with chains and whatnot. <laughs> got to try it. She's like, oh, where did you get try it from? Warriors. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Whammy. <laughs> oh, crazy. Any beef though? Like uh, like well, just, in different cities I've worked in, or just in general, or? in general, because you know what, yeah, do it other cities, but just like I mean, is there that natural? Because it's competitive spirit, right? You're right, a hooper, yeah. you um, you know, baseball player, so that natural, like, oh, you know, let me make sure I'm breaking this news, or I want the highest rate. So any kind of like beef competition, well, in that competition, one thousand percent. Like <laughs> as far as like, yeah, like man, I want mine to be better than yours, and mm-hmm. um, you know, like man, you don't got no fits like this. <laughs> I, that's, that's not right. yeah brian <laughs> brian and brian. brian i like that i like that i need to put that intro on somewhere man we gotta have that you gotta send that to me afterwards but for real for real like very competitive but we've i've never had any kind of uh like that it never works like that in sports people always ask that too it doesn't work like that in sports media where you go places and guys are like asses Jockey. to each other and all oh, that well. kind of stuff it's uh, none of that um but like you have beef where like it's usually re- what it is really with television it's always a newspaper person that their heads is way too big 
You mm. know what I mean? Really? Yeah, That's it's it's, uh, it's always it's always <laughs> new. And I didn't even know this. Okay. But newspaper people hate t- people on TV. Yeah. It's I I never knew that. Never knew that. But newspaper people do not like people on TV, and people on TV don't. You know, like, whatever, like, you know, you don't. It's not different. a big deal. It's different mediums. Uh-huh. Yeah, and and I'm not. I don't hate on anybody for doing anything, man. Like, but so there is that beef in a sense. You go like say you do a scrum, an interview scrum, right? There's ten people trying to interview somebody. It's always one thousand. It's always some newspaper dude standing in front of somebody with their shoulder square, trying to stand all big, blocking with their, out with a little bit. <laughs> not trying to make room because there's twenty cameras behind. For not for for all the TV people, it's all, it's all like TV people are always courteous to other TV people about their microphones. You sure. hold your mic for you. You know you got your shot. You know I help you get a white balance. Newspaper dudes, man, they. I stop. You stop because yeah, you get. You saw that, right? Yeah, I'm gonna go to Vallejo. Gonna come out here in a second, man. So keep, oh, I keep Vallejo Brian tucked away, man. I try not to <laughs> let him loose. From 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 kind of your past or even kind of now, do you have a I guess a favorite interview that you, a favorite athlete you talked to? I saw you know that you had a. I was a big fan of Ricky Henderson growing up as Ooh. well. So I, so a favorite interview in the past. Yeah. And is he still here? Now nah, he was with the Aviators when this was during the fir- like the first the game. Yeah. Oh, just the first game. So yeah. Through the season. So he was with the when the A's were here <laughs> with the Aviators. Though no, he he was just remembered like all the team, the whole team was together. They yeah. hadn't started the big league games yet. So gotcha. Um, man, he was like one of my first, by far my number one uh, baseball player ever was Ricky, Ricky Henderson. Henderson. I loved Ricky Henderson mm-hmm. back in the day. Did he talk in the third person? Nah, he didn't. Uh, <laughs> he was he was cool. He, hey, Ricky, he's from Rick, the Bay, man. Ricky gonna do what Ricky do. I'm, saying, <laughs> leave, leave, Ricky. I'm not gonna sit here and, and let that, you. <laughs> hey, I'm just asking the question, oh, man. man. People want to know. Yeah, the people want to know. That's all, man. Man, favorite interview. Uh, you know what? I do have my favorite interview. This was like my um, the one that made me just. I was just so happy. There's two of them. One, okay. the very first time I met Dr. J. Mm, nice. Uh, I mean, that's that your first sports idol. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it was when the uh, NBA had the All-Star game here in Vegas, 2007. Mm-hmm. It was a red carpet. I want to say it was at the win. And he was coming down. And Dr. Oh, man, I got to, I got a, someone to take a picture of me interviewing Dr. J. And I, I, I haven't. I don't know where the picture is at. I, oh, wow. it. I, I have it. It's in a box somewhere at the crib. Like I, I got boxes in the garage with just pictures and stuff like that. <clears throat> but uh, interview Doctor. Dr. J, man, I was like, "Yo, I'm a famous from Philly." Like you know, yeah, he was cool. I mean, Dr. J smoothed in the mood. Oh huh? yeah, he cool. Still, <laughs> like he wanted he smooth. As, so Dr. J, um, my mom was a Sixers dancer. Oh, oh okay. okay. My mom was was one. Her and two other ladies were the first three black um eagolettes as well. Wow, look at that. So I that's a little, little, little little history right yeah, there. Let me drop that on, let me drop Tra- that on you. <laughs> Trailblazer. Uh-huh, you know, it's in the family, it's in the blood. You know, that's what we do. That's for greatness. Uh-huh. So Dr. J and then I interview Sugar Ray Leonard. Mm. Oh, okay. And I do have that picture of me the man, first time I met dope. Sugar Ray Leonard. That's super dope, man. Like one of the media dudes, man. A guy, this dude named Raymond Spencer here in town. I mean, he's a, a yeah. picture, he takes pictures. Okay. And uh he took the he just took the picture and sent it to me. I got like it's blown up. It's like a eight by ten. So it's like Sugar Ray like smiling and pointing at me. We smiling. <laughs> Sugar man. <laughs> I saw Sugar. He about he, he like five uh, eight, he, yeah. five nine. Mm-hmm. Nice. He's mm-hmm. taller than Floyd. Yeah. Okay. You know people always talking about if those two would two fight. fight. Right. Mm-hmm. Like Sugar Ray Leonard's way bigger than Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. Like okay. size wise, mm-hmm. and he got that little mean streak to him. Yeah. Like, he fought. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Anyway, don't get. I don't want to talk about them two fighting because oh, yeah. like, those. Floyd's my guy, and Sugar Ray Leonard was my guy. Marvin Hagler, you gotta have that mean streak to you. Gotta have something. (laughs) For real, man. I mean, you can't come in there playing, man. It's not all smiles and rainbows, man. Uh, I would would get knocked the fuck out. Uh, (laughs) Uh, Get Chris Tucker. Right, get Chris Tucker. (laughs) Man, I'm gonna just tuck mine (laughs) in. (laughs) He got the chain, too. He got the chain. My grandma gave it. My grandma gave (laughs) it. The way he ran away. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I love man, that. I hate him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Yeah, so, gave you that um, so that was, you know, one of your favorite, which was like the most shocking or like just jacked up interview you had. Ooh, I got that too. <laughs> I, don't, I, probably never told, I don't know if I told you this. I maybe told you this off camera before, but LeBron James. 
Le- Le- LeBron James. LeBron James. <laughs> wow. What's up with the, the king, man? I just say, I mean, I'm putting this on tape and whatnot. I just say, like, he's, to me, he was someone I really wanted to meet and interview. And, Excited. you know, it's LeBron James. So, mm-hmm. King. Yeah. Because uh, I, I, I appreciate his game. Yeah. So, um, when the Team USA came to Las Vegas, the very first time they started practicing here in mm-hmm. Vegas, right? And this was the, um, the first time he was still playing for the Cavaliers. Okay. He had just re upped for like two more years before he ended up leaving to for to the Miami. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he had just re upped in Cleveland for two more years or something like that. And I was at Channel 13. The Cleveland station calls my station, like, hey, can you get some sound from LeBron James? You know, I'm happy to stay in Cleveland. You know, he just signed a contract that yeah. day. Cool. I got you. First day of practice. So I go there, and uh, the way that it was done over at the Cox Pavilion, when practice was done, you're on the sideline, they say, go in there and just go talk to whoever you want to when they say it's good. So Kobe's in there, Dwayne Wade, Jason Kidd, all these people. So okay. I'm getting my stuff first because, you know, I, I still got a job to do. So, and LeBron had a bunch of people around yeah. him. Because first day of the, the Olympic team basketball right. practice, and this was like the redeem team. So this is oh yeah, yeah. This, you know what I mean. Right. After they oh, took, yeah. yeah, yeah, Mello and like exactly, Kobe, it was all Kidd, there. Dwight Howard, That's yeah. Right. So um, I was like, you know what? I can't Dwight Howard. I can't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I should have said Dwight Hall of Famer. <laughs> Yo, he a Hall of Famer though. He is Hall of Famer. Real talk. Yeah. Um. He so is. like I said, I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna get LeBron right now. I'll get the people I need to get, and I'll get them later. Okay. So afterwards, he died down. He was sitting on like a bench. Uh, at the bottom of the steps by himself, got his shoes off, kind of legs crossed, just chilling, okay. some ice on his knee or whatever. I walked over, meet my cameraman, James. It's brother James, my guy. He's like, uh, so I go, LeBron, okay. man, uh, you know, can I get a quick interview, man? Um, you know, I'm from the Vegas ABC station. The station Cleveland just called and asked me to, you know, get a quick little shot with you. Is that cool? Man, I already talked. I was like, yo, man, like it's, and it's just me, him, and my cameraman. I was like, man, it's not for me, man. It's for the it's for the station back home. You know, they you know, they just want me to get, you know, a little quick little interview just so I can send it back to them. Man, come on in. So okay. So I go to like go around. He's like, man, mind you, he's sitting down, I'm standing up. I go to you Which know, is, get around to my That's a whole different like the the posturing, like that's so disrespectful anyway, yeah. right? Like <laughs> And it's like, you know, like bleacher. So he's way down low. It's not like he's sitting up high. Right. So uh I go around him to kind of, you know, get my mic. So I'm right handed to put my mic. So I asked a question. Right. And like my foot kind of hits his foot. He looked up at me like he was going to swing on me or something. Like, ah. <laughs> and he looked at me like he was mad. I was like, Real? okay. So, yo, LeBron, man, you just re-upped. You know, how happy are you to stay in Cleveland? Man, it's pretty cool. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to send that back to them. That, that's yeah, the sound bite that I'm going to get for. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to send that back to them real quick. <laughs> yeah. So I asked the same question a different way, you know, whatever, to try to get a sound bite. He, t- he sent some whatever the heck he said. And I sent it back to him. I was like, that, that was the first time. I'm like, come on, man. Maybe he had a bad day. This your king. Yeah. This your king. This, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Hit him with the 300. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like right. that. Yeah, he did. So, and then after the red, the blue versus white game, I tried to talk to him about something, and you could just tell he, he I don't know. Maybe I look younger. He saw me as a young brother he want to talk to. I don't know, whatever. Mm-hmm. He just wasn't cool to me, mm-hmm. personally. So, I was like, I'm good. That's crazy. That's so, interesting. It is interesting. I hate that it was like that. Yeah, I, I feel it. Yeah, but I, I'll tell you this much: complete okay. opposite. You might even ask a question, but complete opposite. When I met Kobe, I didn't. I thought he was going to be like that, and Kobe, Kobe was the coolest was mug ever. Mm-hmm. So that was definitely a question because yeah, like <clears throat> we see you, you know, um, sideline talk to the Aces because uh, the Aces players had a lot of NBA players that came yeah. through. Yeah. So which is good that one that they announced them and showed that they were getting support that helps the game. But uh, yeah, we see you down there talking to him, and you had an interview with Kobe. So. Yeah. Talk about, is that the only time you interviewed him? Oh, no. Nah. You interviewed him several times. Just talk, tell us about that, man. First of all, man, uh, God bless the dead, man. R.I.P. Yeah. to yeah. Kobe, man. Yeah. And that that hit me, man. I'm not going to lie, man. I cried, man. Like, I mean, and I, I did not like Kobe as a player. That's funny. I'm the same way. Same. Yeah. Didn't like him, man. I think that's a yeah, universal just, thing. Just kind of respected him, but yeah. I was like, whatever. I mean, only our producer likes yeah. Kobe, but we ain't going to get right. into that. Right. Yeah, it, that's not fully universal. So <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the only Settle time Quan want to say something, we right, got you Quan, turn turn on Kobe. Turn it, yeah. You got bobblehead Kobe over there looking at Oh, him. wow. But well, back so, to you, sir. <laughs> so, yeah, man. So, when I met him, I met him at uh, Team USA. That was the first time I talked to him. That same, that same oh, day that same with, uh, of, with LeBron. That mm-hmm. time frame. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And I've seen Kobe in situations. Like, I've interviewed him a bunch of times. I've seen him in situations where he had the opportunity to kind of be an ass. And he was just cool, man. He was so charismatic. Um, 
He never tried to belittle anybody to ask a question. Yeah. If you ask a question, I'm going to turn to you and talk to you. Mm -hmm. You ask a question, I'm going to turn to you and talk to you, even if there's 15 people here. Wow. Right? A lot of athletes don't do that. Yeah, man. You ask them a question, they'll be like, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. They ain't even looking at you. They're just talking. <laughs> you know what I mean? A lot of people yeah. do that. Yeah. Um, quick story on Kobe, man. And this is and this is something people can, you can look up on uh, YouTube. And I, I tell the story all the time about what kind of person he was. So the Make-A-Wish uh, Foundation, right? They had to deal with Kobe where this kid was dying. This here in Vegas. Um, the kid was dying of cancer. Okay. And uh, his dying wish was to meet Kobe Bryant. So Kobe flew from L.A. to Vegas, went to the high school, spent like two, three hours with this kid. Um, his name was Carlos. Mm -hmm. And you can look it up on YouTube, like Carlos. And he, uh, he spent time with him. Kid's parents was in there crying. His mom and dad was in there. Carlos died like the next day or two days later. Oh, wow. Kobe spent time with him. And uh, I did an interview with him, did the story and whatnot. Then as soon as he got done, he flew back to L.A. Mm -hmm. um, and then so when he passed, I was telling people at the station about this particular um, incident with Kobe because I know that Channel 13 was there. I don't think Channel 3 was there or I don't even know if Channel 8 was there. Mm -hmm. Right. And. Literally the day after I was telling this story, Kevin Frazier, he was there. Okay. He ran that story Wow. on, yep, and it's on, it's on YouTube, and it came on literally right after we got done doing the news. Wow. It came on. I saw it. I was like, oh, my God, that's the story. The, kid, the kid's name, Carlos, stuck in my memory. And this yeah. is 2007, 8, mm -hmm. and they had that story. And I, I went on YouTube and looked wow. it up, and it was on there. I was like, man. So, I, so anyway, yeah, Kobe, man, he was cool. And I mean, I think that's part of it, right? Because um, what we like to do with the show, but there's many facets of an athlete, right? And people get their opinion of what they see on the court versus, you know, what they see. Because, you know, a lot of people love King James for what he does for philanthropy. He opened the school, right? But, I love it. But, you know, he could be an asshole and people don't know that, right? <laughs> or it could be just his interaction with certain people, you know? So we are definitely multifaceted. So definitely love to show, show that light on this. Yeah, man, you have to, man. I mean, I, I try to tell people all the time that don't have that insight in what athletes are kind of behind the scenes. And yeah. you've seen like a lot of my interviews, man. Like when I talk to people, I talk to like you, like a regular dude. Like I'm, right. you know, I don't. You are. Right? Yeah, because they, yeah, they are. I mean, I mean, yeah. Yeah. You, you just, too. You're talented yeah. at something you do. Yeah. You, you can't go into an interview looking at them like they're a star. You can't be a <laughs> fan talking to them. You know right. what I mean? Even if you are, but you can't be a fan. Right. So, um, and I think, I think person i break my arm pat myself on the back i think that's like one of my gifts is, is to like when i interview folks man i get them to be themselves and i i get like i try to get the real them when mm -hmm. i talk to them mm -hmm. you know what i mean so like the interviews i've done with like aces players or golden knight players or whoever man like you know humble, humble brag yeah <laughs> huh. i told you i break my arm pat myself on the back man <laughs> it's all good man real talk i think that's a skill that a lot of people really don't have like interviewing people where it's not like the ABC, hey, how you doing? Uh, like yeah. what you guys are doing, like what you guys are doing to make, you know, you're asking the right question, you know, background, you clearly know what you're doing. So you're going to get a good interview. So when, as far as that, how do you feel about athletes respecting media, right? So there's like, yeah. that's that clash of like athletes and media. You guys are the bad guys. Yeah. I, I don't know if it's as bad as it was before, but like, you know, how do you come into that? Do you, realize that and kind of adjust per se because you know there's <laughs> i like it <laughs> he's like no nah, nope 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 i got I, I, yeah I, I talk to people like i talk to them yeah like you know what i mean like i and i re i know that there's already like a natural barrier for, okay. mo mm -hmm. for most athletes depending on who you talk like lebron there's a natural barrier like he don't like the media already a wall you know what i mean okay he only yeah, likes the people he wants to talk to yeah he, he you know he always says he can create his own narrative or how that yeah exactly so i got you yeah, yeah so mm -hmm um i'm just gonna be, i'm gonna be cool with you like i there's i mean there's certain ways you just know how, you gotta know how to talk to people right and at the end of the day they're, they're people so um i talk to them like they're people i, I you know ask the questions i want to ask and uh keep it moving yeah like <laughs> man and if it's a question like for instance um when i worked in oregon i used to cover chip kelly okay, okay. and i'll say like chip kelly is the worst person i ever covered on a day-to-day -day basis like i can't i couldn't stand him man i was like man if i catch if i see chip kelly at a bar it's smoke <laughs> there's gonna be furniture moving like it's gonna be me and him like just because he would belittle you and talk down to you yeah. and big fish small pond yeah. like I, at the end of the day we're men right yeah right man I, I, so hey, hey 
like he's, man, Paul's, <laughs> huh? Like, hey, <laughs> and uh, now, this, this is America, Jack. This yeah. is America, Jack. <laughs> Same. Real talk. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> this is America, Jack. Uh-huh. <laughs> this is America, Jack. <laughs> Hello. <there. laughs> oh, man. Oh, so, shit. yeah, you got to talk to them like they just, I talk to you like you regular people. So, I'm not going to disrespect you. And just in life, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't disrespect you, man. You're not going to disrespect me. Facts. This is kind of a broad question, man. We we just had a, a show talking about black quarterbacks and 2019 is being the year of kind of the black oh, quarterback. That was and me. He was a quarterback, right? I went through that. <laughs> Obviously, you see in in the in the sports world just kind of how the black quarterback is kind of displayed. I guess uh, the narrative is built around them. You're an athlete, right? Exactly. You're so not smart, right? Exactly. Right. The, the cold words. So, how do you feel like it is changed, or has it changed, or from your position, just the way that they are talked about in the media? How do you feel about it? I don't necessarily think it has changed at all. Okay. I just think that that um we had a good year. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> folks had a good you know we we did but your boy i was just talking to somebody yesterday about this man i i, I he's not part of the team man unfortunately I'm talking about we had a good year won the super bowl last year oh you don't uh, think Mahomes? so he, do you think he does i i think it's him finding himself right because i think how old is he no 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 but listen like how old is he finding himself stop come on you know who you are at 20 how about no 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 i don't believe that you, you don't think, think he's on a, racially I, you do no nah. Please, man, you, it's a, you, you didn't it's know an environment. You just said it yourself. You didn't know you were in Washington. Like, I mean, I knew because I where I grew up. Like, <laughs> exactly. I, but yeah, it, it's, okay. I mean, he's biracial too. Yeah. So uh-huh. it, it, he has to have some influence to kind of ha- hammer home. And you don't know if his dad had. I mean, his dad was a um baseball player. a baseball player. Yeah. So he could have had that. You know, I'm not black. I'm OJ syndrome. Yeah. So come on. I I <laughs> I no I. <laughs> I completely that's agree. True. That's, that's what, true. No, so, that's true. So that's to, why to, I to say, say that he has that man, you got to get it from somewhere. Unless his, his uncle couldn't come around the house, <laughs> right? If his uncle couldn't come around the house and his black uncle, then he may not well, have. I mean, that and, even into your point, you know, I I think he probably he may have not been a black quarterback up until he got to the NFL. Exactly. Now he's a black quarterback. You exactly. know what I mean? He, he even said about it. That. In he his mind, though, he's not. Like, I bet you he's not. No, he did say it, though. In an interview, it didn't hit him the importance because, like, a lot of people, they say that shit. What I hate is, like, man, I don't see color, which is the dumbest, ignorant shit in the world. It is. And, yeah. and people don't understand it. I get where their heart is at when they say that. But um, he didn't realize that monu- that the magnet of that kind of situation until yeah. someone brought it to him. Right. And now he's like, oh shit, you yeah. know, I gotta adjust. So that's where I'm going with it. That's but see, my but, stance. But yeah, and I feel what you're saying, but the reason why he didn't see it that way is because he didn't necessarily, he didn't have the OJ sy- syndrome in a negative way. Mm-hmm. He just, he grew up being like, I'm just uh, Pat. I'm just Patty. I'm just Pat yeah. and I'm, I'm not. But I'm is not that negative though? That to, OJ to, syndrome to, is not negative. To, to me, to me personally, yes, because man, I embrace it. You, you, yeah, if you grow up, it, you know the old saying, and you got one drop. Yeah, you black. <laughs> yes, yeah. so you should. You need to the accept, one drop rule. Yeah, right. you need to accept that. Mm-hmm. And if you think that you're not, you will be reminded in this country. You will be reminded, and, and he what, was reminded. And, and that's what I'm saying is yeah. he was never reminded. You know, if he has now though. And that's what I'm saying, and that's what he's taking on, and I believe he understands. The weight of that and he's taking that on i mean he was on Indis- undisputed and he was kind of talking about that understanding the brevity of it so it, yeah the white guy i'm gonna step in real quick nope um <laughs> just like the white guy <laughs> I'm gonna step in let, show, let, me, let me control the control conversation, the conversation. But, uh, no, no, to, nah. Bri- to brian's point though he he didn't go 22 years without somebody a high school reporter uh uh college reporter you don't know that not bringing that up yeah, yeah but I, he, I think it's he, more pc he, in he high school he thought, yeah. he, was, he, yeah, thought he was different yeah, he thought yeah, he was different. different. No, he because that's I, what I'm saying. Him. As a white, th- no. there's definitely some racist white people that brought that up. There had to be, not in front of his face, he, not when he's he, winning. He, he he's knew he's winning. He no. knew. No, he, he always knew. No. no, you don't think he grew up and knew that he was? Yeah. Come on, he knew. And he's younger though, so it's a, it's a his, bit different. And it wasn't like, but his, he's from Texas. Man, his right. dad is not Boo Boo the Fool. His dad was a dope player. He was not around that. Y'all got to understand that, like. He ain't me and you growing up. You grew up in yeah. East Bay. Yeah. <laughs> you in the blackest city in America. <laughs> the root of black. Uh-huh, but right. I finished high school in Seattle. 
Yeah, but you already had the foundation. That's what I'm saying, man. True, life, I did. Everything in life is all about experiences. But you get taught that foundation. You get taught that foundation that's from what I'm saying. I'm talking about from your parents. His dad's a baseball player. His dad's how many games they play in baseball? A hundred and a thousand yeah. sixty five games. His dad was he was black his whole life. Yeah. <laughs> And his dad, but his knew. dad was a professional his whole life too. And he grew up in Texas. There's no way in the world you grew nah, up in Texas and not I know, know that you were black. black. I, I, I in, see. In I, lived in, I lived in Texas. I lived in Texas. So do you, okay. okay, let me ask you this: Do you think that there had uh, like an economic? <laughs> I like that e economic thing with it. So I'm I'm sure he lived in Texas, but he lived in a baseball land. player. So I'm sure he, li <laughs> he lived in Sugar Land. Yeah, I'm sure he. he <laughs> Yeah, it, it was. It, he he was live a, off. He live off the Sam Houston. Right. He was a <laughs> person of a Sam Houston. He didn't, he didn't live downtown. He, he didn't live in Beaumont. Huh? Right. He, yeah. he he probably lived in Galveston off yeah. the bay. A little different. <laughs> it's definitely different. Yes, but it's it's first of all, it's I get you saying it's never you never not know that you're black. You may just think that you are different. Uh, oh, I'm I'm passing so to speak. Okay. And not not maybe even if it's not um consciously mm -hmm. saying I'm passing unconsciously. Because people treat you differently because you have a gift or you're cool mm -hmm. or you got money. They treat you differently. You think that oh, I'm just like I'm just like Johnny over here. All right. Until until do you guys watch uh, the All American? Yeah, that I've show? seen some of that. Yeah. You all remember right. the kids from Beverly Hills and they got pulled over by the cops? Yeah. And do they realize, oh man, oh, I'm, this ju is I'm, I'm just like old boy from South Central when I get pulled over by the cops. Right. You know, I got money right. because you the you the same. Stop. I, I got you. Uh, so I will agree with you a hundred percent, and you're actually arguing my point. No, his <laughs> he no. did not realize it until someone told him he's a black quarterback, and that's when it came clear to him. You can say that there were incidents and things like that, okay. but they weren't as um, drastic as someone saying like, "Yo, it's yeah. the year the black quarterback," and you're one of them. He's not had that, and that's just my kind of take from it. I, I can say that maybe I don't know if he. Did not have that. I think that he thought that he was different. I, I think I think we're probably along the same lines. I think yeah. you, I think you're saying the same, same thing. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I think that he grew up thinking he was different. I think where we differ is that I think that um, you know, he didn't embrace Brace the mantle. He didn't embrace that part of his his person, not the quarterback. I'm just talking about the person in general. A hundred percent. That's that's all I'm saying. I, I and that's why I don't think I don't necessarily claim him as being that person. Personally, <laughs> that's just Brian talking. Well, we're gonna get him there because everybody knows that, like, we we didn't want Kaepernick as our representative, but it just it came out that way, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. Right? Isn't that the same? Like, if Good you point. thought about anybody that was going to do the kneeling and the standing up and all of this for, you know, <laughs> nobody well, it saw. Gonna be Colin Kaepernick. It was not going to be Colin uh, Kaepernick. From the University of Nevada. I know. So, yeah. so realize that people come into it at different different times, and I believe it's his experiences. Okay, but he's he's not gonna turn into Colin Kaepernick. No, I, I can agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about experiences and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, he's not gonna do that. I, and I've heard from people that you've been to Reno. Yeah, twice. <laughs> okay, I've never been to Reno. Okay, but I've, I've never heard anything good about Reno mm. in that regard. No, for people, sure. No, I saw. You know, Reno was like one of those things. Like, uh, did you get lost from? Right. Like, did you walk down here from? You I don't could, know the Bay Area. You just got lost. You, you got, that to you? You just got you tired. Doing? No yeah. uh, punishment. What you doing here, boy? <laughs> yeah, you yeah, just got you, tired you down got, here. Yeah, you know where you are, boy. <laughs> I've heard things. Yeah, I've heard things about people that have lived up there, and I believe that I heard that Ka Kaepernick had some instances like that when he was living there. I'm sure he did. I'm pretty sure he did. So, oh. so all right, we yeah. gonna, we gonna move. You got anything else? Nah, we, we can move on. Yeah. All right, so we're going to jump on. This is the platform, man. This is, you know, definitely where we want to. It's kind of like the winner's circle. We talk about what you got going on, man. Anything you want to promote and push? Because, like man. I said, we give a platform. And, I mean, you have a, a wonderful show that I think is amazing. I plug every time I can. Yo, I, I appreciate the support, man. Oh, absolutely. No, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm for real. Like, I, I really appreciate the support, man. You've been supporting the brother since day one. And you didn't even know me. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was literally just talking to my wife about you the other day. Shout out to wife. your wife. I love your wife. Yeah. She's good people. Um, <laughs> just how I met you. I was like, man, I ran into EJ at the dang summer league game. He was like, yo, man, I'm having a party. Why don't you come through? <laughs> and I didn't even know him. He, I was First, I was shocked that he even knew who I was. Mm -hmm. I, Which I love that you do that, by the way. What? You, you were very humble like that. when people, Because I've been out with you. We'll be out. And, and people stop me like, Oh, they do that like they, they do that stop and gawk shit. <laughs> <laughs> he said gawk. <laughs> That's what they do. Like you're the Negro on TV. <laughs> wow. Well, and if they said that, they'd give a Brian. But yeah. 
<laughs> no, they don't do that. That's all jokes. But no, nah, yeah, I, I, I'm always surprised when people wreck unless unless I'm walking around like this, you know what I mean? Which I, I happen to be that day, but still, I just don't think. I just feel like people don't watch the news, but and I came through. I was like, yeah, I'll come through. And if I said I was gonna do it, I can, I did it. Came through, and ever since that day, man, EJ been cool as a mug. So. Yeah, good, man. Good people. He actually watched the show. Like he'll say something about something I said on the show the night before. He'll be like, yeah. Like, yeah, he was really watching that thing. <laughs> so let's talk about it, man. So you have a show uh Sunday night, man. Yes. Um, sports night in yes. Las Vegas. Yes. Talk about it, man. The concept, where'd it come from, why it's needed. Man, let's go in. Man, well, um, first, I'm on five days a week. So yes, that's Monday through Thursday. Okay. I do the um the news on channel three. I do sports on channel three. Lead, uh, yeah. of course, there it is. Yeah, yeah. ain't sports anchor at uh <laughs> six, ele- ten, and then eleven o'clock. Can we say H and I C? you you can say that. I don't, I don't know what you mean. Uh, <laughs> uh, what, are, what are you talking about? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the head NBC in charge. There yeah. you go. Um, exactly. but uh, yeah, and then on Sunday nights, it's a show they've always had. It's a half hour show from eleven thirty to midnight. It's a full sports show. It was the first in this market. Oh, Channel really? Eight now has one, but they didn't have one. Uh, Fox doesn't have one. Obviously, Channel Thirteen they don't have a sports department. So, but uh, when I got there, um, I don't know. I, I just saw it in a different light. I wanted it to be like a a, sh- a show where we have stories that so you can kind of see a story on a, p- a particular person. Right. Um, we do interviews. I do interviews. Amber does interviews. So does Jesse as well. But I do inter- like in studio interviews or whatever since I'm I'm the host of it. And I have, all, I try to do sports and entertainment. Like that's one of the things I wanted to do that kind of changed what, what the uh, format was. So you saw, I had Teddy Riley in. Nah. I had Guapale in. Oh, that's, mm. that's, oh man. That girl, oh, that girl good. Baby, turn off the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> my wife, turn <laughs> off the thing. Yeah, no, nah, man. The, the, the lights a little bit. <laughs> huh. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, she liked Trey songs. I took her to go see Trey songs for her birthday at, at dang Dre, Dre's. She be mm. always she'd be like, EJ, you want to go to Dre's? I'm like, no, I'm huh. go home. <laughs> no, I'm not trying to go to Dre's. And it's been after our event, like we'll be out. <laughs> you want to go to Dre's? No, huh? So I've taken her a few times. Yes, so, you have. Good, husband. Uh, good husband. Yeah. So I yeah, go out playing studio. Woo wee! She was just so nice. I love her music. But anyway, yeah, I have different people in there. Uh, try to have athletes. So yeah, it's it's fun, man. Like it, I mean, it, I tr- I try to make it different than any show that you have here in Vegas. Mm-hmm. We got great talent at our station. Myself, Amber Dixon, she does a great job. But like, she's a she's a really good storyteller. No, she's on point. Yeah, and and uh and Jesse, shout and out she, Jess. What's yeah. up, Jess? Jesse dresses well, man. That's the first thing I noticed. Like, man, this dude, he's uh lacking the melanin, but he got style. I was like, <laughs> wow, how does that happen? Yeah, Jesse's on point. He. You taking notes, man. He get you around for you. He be Yo, really clean on that. Yeah, yeah. He he's clean on him. So he does a good. He's he's like five years old. But he does a good job as well. So we got a nice little department, sports department. I think it's the best sports department in our state. In, the, I agree in our with city, that. Yeah, yep. real talk. News three, news three, news. Three, <laughs> news three, news three. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, man. So if you guys peep that show Sunday night, eleven thirty, channel three, holla at your boy. That's good stuff. Yes, sir. Yeah. Question on that. How I guess in today's world where there's so much uh, opinionated kind of things, <laughs> yeah. right? Everybody has an opinion. Everybody has their own brand. Oh yeah. What's I know that 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 fine line between reporting facts and opinion is kind of blurred in a lot of different cases. Yeah. So I, I guess how to how do you kind of live in that that world that space? How do you, you know, cipher that? Well, as a like reporter, mm-hmm. uh, anchor, it's always the facts. You have to talk about like what you know the facts are, or whatever. Um, but I don't play a character on television. Like I'm Brian all day. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? So right. if I feel a certain way about something for the most part, I'll say it. You know, I'm not going to try to say something that's say what you just uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> see. That's how EJ, he goes, he watches. So, I, and I really, I created a segment one sports night called spitfire sports night spitfire. Mm-hmm. It's basically like a hot take of uh, whatever we got on our chest. We say it with our chest and, you know, just give your take on it. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's where you can do a commentary. So yeah, now I, like for instance, I'll, I'll say something about like the Cowboys stink. Uh, <laughs> we know that's not fact. So that's what, there, there go that line blurred. Okay, uh, yeah. <laughs> definitely blurred line. Yeah, see there you go. Or I mean, I worked in Boston. I I was a Patriots reporter. I was a weekend mm-hmm. anchor at the station at Fox twenty five. 
But I was a Patriots supporter, so I went to all the Patriots games. And there's not a team that I despise more than the uh, New England Patriots. I agree. Right? You know, so. That's something America's hated team. Man. So, I mean, I'm, I have to report what's going on, the facts, you know, the who, what, when, where, why, how types. Yeah. And I, I keep my opinion out, out of it. Of that. Right. Yeah. But if I'm doing highlights here in Vegas which, and the Patriots aren't here, if I'm saying the game, say <laughs> they're playing against the Raiders, I work in Las Vegas. Mm-hmm. I would prefer the Raiders to win whatever team you're covering. You prefer them to win. Right. Max. Right. But that is something that's completely different from like a newspaper person. Like, okay. Because like a lot of newspaper reporters, in a sense, like um, I, I think they feel like their journalistic integrity is higher than TV oh, people. Oh, got you. And you can't, you can't give your opinion on something like that. Like, <laughs> the how I feel is not going to uh, determine how I report actually what happens. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. They, and they feel like you you can't have an opinion on who you want to win a game. Like you're you're you didn't get into this business because you're a fan of Mm -hmm. sports of course you did right (laughs) you know what i'm saying like stop like stop right um Mm -hmm. and if you cover the raiders you live in las vegas is your job not more fun if the raiders are a winning team absolutely so uh, you would prefer them to win but that doesn't mean that if they do something stupid that you're not going to go and be like you know you're not going to report what they did and you may even be like uh that was kind of (laughs) yeah i got it right so. Yeah, <laughs> it's irritable. I, that was like one of the first Spitfires I did at, at Channel um, Three. Okay, let's talk about that because there's a lot of people like in this market. They look down their nose at folks that's on TV because of that very thing. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. That's well, yeah, crazy. that brings a Vallejo Ana- Brian out. <laughs> <laughs> Another broad question <laughs> about how narratives are kind of created mm-hmm. in the sports world. Spin. So exactly. Yeah, mm. we brought him up earlier. And this is a narrative that's kind of me and my homeboys kind of discuss. Oh, CTE, like LeBron. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna CTE. I should go to. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go to Draymond. I'm okay, go to Draymond. Okay. Oh, you can go to your boy because I got. Go ahead. Go to oh, okay. Let's go, go to whoever. No, let's go to LeBron. I go back to LeBron. And then I go back to Draymond. Let's go to LeBron. The king. Okay, so when oh, LeBron well, lost to the, from Ohio, when when the king, uh, Just thank you, lost to the to the Warriors in the in the finals, game five, they lost in five games. Who's the king? I don't know. I, I, think, <laughs> the, I think the king is MJ, uh, Jordan, but that's another thing. He's the GOAT. Get your stuff together. King, GOAT, oh, okay. whatever. He's no, on the top of the nine. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Miles. <laughs> My bad. You're good. So when he when he lost to the Warriors in game five, when they we got Kevin, the first year the Warriors had Kevin Durant. Yeah. And they lost in five games to him in the NBA Finals. That same year, James Harden lost to the Warriors in seven games, right? Oh, wow. And narrative is spun like, ah, oh, LeBron didn't get no help. You know what I mean? He's 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 without help. But James Harden just lost to the Warriors in seven games, mm-hmm. and his narrative is he tired. He, yeah, they choked. They choked. The beard choked, choked again. Right. So like, how how do you feel about how those narratives are created? Do you feel like the media creates those narratives? The how media. Do, the yeah. media. The evil media. The yeah. Evil media. No, I don't. I don't. I I don't talk about the media as an entity. You know what I mean? Okay. That narrative was created by ESPN. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? Just ESPN. <laughs> Just uh, them. Yeah. Well, you know what I mean? Cause, I feel I mean, about that. Yeah. Because yeah. I have my I have my own narrative. Right. Like I, I think for myself. Okay. If I think like for instance, James Harden, he don't play it on D. All right. You know what I mean? That's, that's, that might be a fact. He don't huh? He don't play he <laughs> yeah, blur line with that one. He huh. don't play D and the Rockets couldn't shoot the ball and that's why they lost the game. Mm-hmm. It's not because he didn't have any help. All right. Because they missed shots. LeBron James. He don't have no help. Stop it. Stop it. Right. I don't, I'm, I'm, that narrative drives me bananas. Drives me crazy, too. Bananas. Because how many Hall of Famers he didn't play with? A lot. A lot, yeah. Man, st- yeah, but like, man, stop. All right. Stop. And, well, Jordan played with blah, blah, yeah. blah. Stop. Okay. Okay. Stop. Yeah. Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> I believe Ray Allen is a Hall of Famer, one of the best shooters ever. I believe he played with LeBron James. Yeah. I believe that Chris Bosh is prob- he's probably a Hall of Famer. Wade. Uh, I believe Dwayne Wade. I, bl- I believe Dwayne Wade was a have Wade on the show today. Come on, man. man. <laughs> he might <laughs> chill out. Uh, he do look like him. Yeah, he do got that Dwayne Wade. So, <laughs> that's funny. Let's let's get to it really quick. We're on some, some rapid fire stuff too. So, how do you pick your guest on the show? Right, because you do have it's a very entertaining show, and you have a great mix. Um, I mean, you even have my homeboy. Shout out to Adam Plant. You know, talking about different perspectives, which uh. we want to do. Um. You know, I wanted to get him on the show too, but he's too busy making them cheesecakes. Man, but things are good too. Che- man. Tasty teas, Tasty baby. Tasty teas. There's Ooh. your shot. 
Woo! And just go ahead and send us over an order for the for the free promotion. You gotta holler at him, man. And no, but no, he bet they, they they doing a the thing. But anyway, how do you select the people for your show? Uh, I mean, I, I just kind of go about whomever is relevant. Um, somebody that has something to say, people I'm cool with. I mean, uh, that whole shebang. Whole thing. Yeah, I mean, you have to, you have, it has to be relevant to what, at the show, what I'm doing. So mm -hmm. people but, interested, right? Yeah. That's the hook, right? Yeah, you know, it has to be, but it's also my job to make them interesting to someone who's watching the show and talk to them about stuff that makes them interesting. Always facts. Um, And they, they have to, you have to, yeah, you got to be somebody for the most part, you know what I mean? In, in the, in the industry, you have to provide something to the show, so... <laughs> There's no real rhyme or reason other than, than those little just those kind of little yeah. tidbits. Nice. Yeah. All right. Um you're very active on social media. Uh -oh. So we're definitely gonna put, you know, we got your Instagram on the screen. Um and we'll put all the other kind of contact information in the show notes. But appreciate um, that. What made you get so you're very active, like you respond to your fans or the people and, and yes. you and so what 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 gets you, <laughs> you know, or why why did you think that was important? Or, or just just kind of good give me question that. yeah I, because that's just me okay you know what i mean like just like you like anytime i've been anywhere with this cat you've been out with this cat man he he talks to folks a lot of he's people. he's not scared he talks he's, a lot of people yeah he's not shy you just a social dude right yeah see he he about to pick up the wine and throw the <laughs> pinky out again right see he heard how the voice got deep real quick yeah you know i mean, mean no, uh, no lines blurred that's all fact <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> So I, I'm I'm just a social guy, man. So I, I talk to people that talk to me, man. So um and I give you what you give me. No. You know what I mean? I'm a mirror, whatever energy you give me, I'm giving back. So when folks and I try to uh I try to respond to everybody. Like I, if I get emails at the station, if it's negative, I reply. If it's oh, positive, don't. I reply. If you got something to say, <laughs> you know, I reply and Obviously, I think about how I reply. <laughs> well, yeah, and that you got to put that mask on. We talk about mask all the time. Oh yeah. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> just and with the rap fire. Um, do you know the importance of you yeah. on the show, on on the, your show, in your role, who you are? Do you know the importance? And, of course, absolutely. And what do you do to kind of keep that and and, and put that out there and, and kind of you know create? Not a tribe, but just a, a support network. And do you have a support network? I do. Well, you are part of that. You're like one of the main people, man. That, the real talk. Um, I've always known that because unlike, unlike uh, our idea of Patrick Mahomes, <laughs> right? I never had. I knew who. I mean, my pops made it. You know, I know who I, I am. You are right. So I mean, I represent. I worked in Montana. Oh. I worked in Missoula, Montana. <laughs> Missoula. There I was go. the only the grizzly. The grizz. Huh. I was the only black person on the air, <laughs> let alone man Ouch. or woman. Black person on the air. Missoula, Montana. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Do you know anyone who's lived in Montana? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Me. Do you? Well. Okay. I went to Northern Colorado, used to play Montana oh, yeah, all the time. Yeah, yeah. So I got yeah. Oh, Washington Grizzly Stadium, baby. But cat, um cat grizz. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> um yeah, so I, I knew who I, I knew for most of the people either watching or that I meet. That I'm, I'm representing us. Yeah, you know what I mean. I'm gonna be like the only brother that you have, have ever met, or maybe one of the first, or whatever. And you already have an idea of what you think I'm supposed to be like. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then <laughs> when you meet me, you're like, oh wow. So I may have just made that person a good person for the rest of your life, kid, whatever. Right. So does, does that have a certain kind of weight that you carry with it as well? It's or not no, even it's not weight, weight, man. Like that's me. Yeah. Like I, 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 I know that. You realize yeah. that, you know. So day one. Yeah. So I, I knew that going into Channel 3. So then, and you do keep true to that, right? Like, a lot of your punchlines and things you say, you know what I mean? Oh, you, catch, you catch some of that? A lot of, it miss a lot of people, uh, but I believe that it's really needed for you to kind of keep that. Sure. Do you get any pushback or do you have any, like, how do you design when you say stuff, right? Like, oh. hot sauce in your bag, swag, stuff that, you know. I'm, I'm, in your bags, I'm just bringing something. I you may know. steal that. I never said that before. I like that though. <laughs> or you know, just, just you know, talking hair. about like ribs on, on you know, <laughs> say it with your chest. Yeah. Have, I, have I brought ribs up before? I, I don't. I, again, like I try to, I try to be, be me. Yeah, I try to be me. Um, and for real, for real, I think a lot of people like when you meet me, and uh, I hope that I don't come across different in person than I do on television. 
You know what I mean? Like, obviously, you have to talk. You have to talk. You have to enunciate 100%. and speak. But no, I, you have to do your job. That's a job you're doing. Yeah, I think, right, 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 right. But I, I, I've never, ever, 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 ever wanted someone to think that I got on television with. Well, hello, I am Brian Selman, and that's how I'm talking. And uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, what's that show with that news anchor? Uh, I just saw it in my news feed. Ah, uh, with Dave Chappelle when he was no, that guy. No, no, well, nah, that's hilarious. That's funny. But I, I never want people to think that's me, man. Right. Like, I, I'm not gonna get on there. Yo, what's up, bro? You, you know, yeah, I don't yeah. talk like that in real life. Right, right. But uh, the way I'm talking right now is the way I talk on television. 100. percent Yeah, I make sure that I, I, you know, just let you know. I, anyway. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> I, I rep folks, man. I mean, that's just and, and kind of wrapping up this part. So, how can we black and sports just people listening? You know, you got listeners from everywhere. I was going to do it like our, our, our pastor Randall does. Like, we got people in Bangladesh and people oh. in <laughs> Germany and I, <laughs> everything. But um, <laughs> how can we support you and how can the listeners support you? Or what, what are the things that help you out and the station out? Is uh, it, follow your boy on social media. Uh, Drop him. B R Y A N News, N E W S L V. Uh, or news three LV. I'm sorry, Brian News three LV. That's my handle for Instagram, for Twitter, uh, and for real, hit up the uh, the station. If you like something I'm doing, tell the people that I work for that you like <laughs> what I'm doing, so they know. You know what I mean? Like, cause uh, just like just like I talk to you, and Facts. I say that I don't I don't expect people to recognize me or whatnot. Mm -hmm. Um, I I don't I don't necessarily know if my bosses and people that make decisions get information from people that man i like this guy i like right. your sportscaster i like your you know what i mean mm -hmm. um quick story that uh, i went out to eat with uh the general manager of our station and this is after i'd already been there for i don't know some months or whatever okay and i'm sitting down it's man someplace in fremont can't remember the name of the restaurant i'm sitting there the waiter comes up he's like, yo are oh, you the dude on tv <laughs> and i was like man you know sh surprise he's like man real t he's like hey man you're my favorite person on tv man like real t I, I love watching you mm -hmm. wow. like a mexican dude or whatever uh -huh. and my general manager wasn't there he hadn't gotten there yet i was sitting down at the table by myself he said come, that. come back like, hey, you, you, right. you want to come back <laughs> <laughs> no i was like listen <laughs> man. i was like hey i was like man because i mean he told me that it was you know it was it was genuine clearly right and he sure. just told me i was like man my general manager is going to be here in like 10 minutes man come by tell him that facts and i mean he did Dope. did that is dope so um i i know nah, and like i i appreciate it because you only hear negative stuff generally mm -hmm. when they don't like something you're doing oh they they, they email you tweet <laughs> you <laughs> quickly man cc and everybody cc and everybody huh? on the, every like wow had, nobody, had nothing to do with it and they cc and copied and yelp Ooh. review you on <laughs> but every damn thing man on there. i literally just got one like uh, when the whole coronavirus epidemic struck, mm -hmm. I may have said the coronavirus has hit the world of sports harder than they've hit, you know, when it first started because they were canceling everything. Right. Somebody emailed to me, how dare you say there's more in sports than anywhere else? Uh, this is the city of Las Vegas and blah, blah, blah. How dare you say this? And sent it to the Yelp review. I got the email from people above me. And then I, I go and look on, I watch the show and word for word one of our news anchors said that in tossing in, in, to in you. introduction news anchor said that to me it wasn't to me i think it might have been to amber but the, that was the toss though yes mm -hmm. yes <laughs> I, I guarantee you that person didn't get an email <laughs> right absolutely but uh I was, okay man whatever out. you know yeah. john john didn't get that email yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right so we do want to end you know getting close to wrapping up I do have a question that just popped up, and I definitely want your take on it. All right. So we had MB Marcus Banks on the show. MB, right. yeah, man, I love Marks, man. Cool pop. I met cool him hooping. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, he talked about uniting or what UNLV needs to do. Oh yeah. What are your thoughts on <laughs> one if UNLV will ever come around as far as sports, mm. and is there anything we can do to help them? We as in a community or just we as in just... Well, don't you think you need the community to attend your games? Because you got Raiders coming. You got basketball yeah. hopefully coming. In, so well, they got to win. just really quick because I know we, we got to wrap it up. I'm sorry. Tomorrow. Yeah, they got to win. Um, And I don't know. They need a... a <laughs> 
they they need to win. They really and and I'll say this because Marcus didn't say this. From what I've heard in, in talking with former players from UNLV, they don't treat their former players well. And, yeah. and I'm sure you've heard that. And that was his point. Uh, yeah. Right, I know, I, right on. Yeah, I know he said that before. And it's so, mm -hmm. but yeah, and not just him. I've heard that from multiple players mm -hmm. that have done well there. Oh, represented NBA, blah, blah, blah. Right. You can't change who we were, man. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so this is the last segment, man. We like to call this the assist, all uh -oh. right? Okay. All right, and the assist, man, this is where you get to kind of get into your coaching mode. You get to drop a dime oh. or just give us some gems, man. So oh. something maybe a life lesson, kind of like maybe your personal self mantra, or if you want to tell the people how they could get into sports. So just give us, you know, the assist. The assist. Okay. Well, I have an intern that is at our station there. Her name is uh, Jada Brown. And um, basically what I tell anyone that wants to get into television, wants to be on TV, first thing I tell them is, are you willing to move anywhere in order to, to get that goal? Are you willing to do anything that you got to do to get that job? Like, are you, do you, will you move to Missoula, Montana from Atlanta, Georgia? <laughs> For real. Like, and if, if it's the answer is no, then you don't really want to do, do it. it. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, straight up now, you really don't want to do it. Mm -hmm. Cause I've, I've moved all over the country. So that's the first thing I, I tell them. Um, and if you get the correct answer, then cool. I can tell you how to get there. Mm -hmm. I mean, how to get there is easy. I can tell you how to get there. Okay. If you want to get there, then you can. You got to do your internship. Right. Yep. You got to send out, you know, um, uh, resume reels, you know, with, with your stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You got to be willing to go somewhere and make no money and perfect <laughs> your craft and look for another job. There it is. That's, That's what you got to do. And as far as being on air, uh -huh. be you. Yeah. Like, man, don't play a character. Like, I mean, when you're in your smaller markets, you learn how to, Ooh, to be on television, one. but you got to be you. You can't, you can't get on camera and try to, try to be what you think is a, a television person. Hey, I'm TV and I'm because that's maybe what you think people are doing. Just right. be you. <laughs> and if people don't like you, then they don't, you know, they don't that's like you. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> they just don't like you. Yeah. <laughs> what Bertie Mac said, if they don't like him, fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> For real. For real. <laughs> Learned a long time ago, man. You can't be everything to everybody, right? And Because you make no one happy. Man. I mean, huh. that's, 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 it's a skill that's needed because in this microwave society, I, don't, I think a lot of people want things right now, and it takes a little bit of a some grind. You gotta, man, especially these young stir the gumbo up. You gotta get the right <laughs> ingredients in there. Yeah. You got, yeah, these young man, if you're they're twenty two, twenty three, they yeah. think their first job needs to be in Vegas. <laughs> yeah. Right. Like, come on. Like, no. All right. Hit no. These, hit these small markets. Yeah. yeah. Go. You get got your foot in the door. Ames, Iowa. <laughs> all right <laughs> for real i mean right. that's, i'm one thousand percent for real yeah so but a lot of people don't they 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 want to be uh they want to be kevin frazier <laughs> they want to be <laughs> michelle the, the jump, right? That's right off the bat yeah that's your first job yeah okay <laughs> all right then you you want to be on tv you don't actually like doing like and i'm doing this you're not paying me to be here i want right. to i came here because you my guy i want to mm -hmm. be on your show and talk and i'll talk we'll, we've done this Without cameras and microphones mm -hmm. for hours. Real talk. S hours. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you got to love it. For sure. Got to love it. Well, hey, I just want to, you know, thank our guests again, man. Appreciate you coming through, man. Ooh. I hope you enjoyed it here, man. I want to thank everyone that's listening. I hope you enjoyed the show today. And I hope you picked up some things, right? Um, you know, so if you like the show, share it. If you didn't like the show, still share it. Yes. All right. Um, please follow us with Black and Sports on all platforms. So uh, YouTube, IG, Twitter, Facebook, and um, we are on all platforms for your podcasts as well. So Apple, Spotify, iHeart, you name it. And um, please be safe out there and know that I am rooting for you. Yeah. Screaming, all us blacks got a sports and entertainment until we even. Assuming I'm rooting for everybody that's black. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Assuming I'm rooting for everybody that's black. Yo. 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 Assuming I'm rooting for everybody that's black. Smack out to racks on handmade new rags. Assuming I'm rooting for everybody that's black. I'm sorry, everybody from sports to college class to rap.